thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host, Dave, and today I want to share with you something I get a lot of questions on, and that's what is the difference between Syrah and Petite Syrah? Actually, the wines made from those two different grapes have completely different DNA, completely different flavors, and excel under different growing conditions. So let's talk about Syrah first. Syrah has its roots firmly in the northern Rhone Valley of France, but it's not native to that particular area. It's thought to have been brought to the northern Rhone in about 600 BC by the ancient Phoenicians. Now, they brought it to that area from Persia, which is kind of interesting because in the old world, we call wines made from this particular grape Syrah. But a lot of times, you'll see wines made from the exact same grape, termed Shiraz, in places like Australia, California, etc. So, why would we call the same grape two different things in two different areas? Well, when the Phoenicians found this grape to be native, they found it in ancient Persia. And interestingly enough, the capital of ancient Persia is, you guessed it, Shiraz. So they're paying tribute to those ancient roots of that particular grape. So we're going to call it Syrah for this particular exercise. So DNA testing, and they do do DNA testing on grapes, the foremost place for that to be done is the University of California at Davis. So if you ever hear UC Davis, uh, there's where most of the DNA testing on grapes is done. What it found out was that Syrah is actually a hybrid between two different grapes and probably two you've never heard of before. One is called Dureza and the other one is called Mandus. So when they got together, they made Syrah. So what do we expect when we taste a wine that's made from Syrah? Well, we expect a lot of plumminess, a lot of spice, things like pepper, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, and also in the background, sometimes coffee, licorice, a little bit of dark chocolate, and mocha. So that's kind of the setup for what that wine might taste like. We're going to get back to this here in a second. So Petite Syrah. So if, if Syrah is Syrah, is Petite Syrah little Syrah? Actually not. It's a completely different grape. And this was a grape that also uh, was made. This was made by a gentleman by the name of Francois Duroff in 1868. So Francois Duroff in 1868 crossed Syrah and another grape that you probably never heard of before called Pellerson. So they crossed Pellerson and Syrah together and created Petite Syrah. Now Petite Syrah does have very small berries. So it does get the Petite name from the fact that the berries are small. Now small berries produce wines that are loaded with tannins. So why does that happen? Let's think about a globe. And if the globe is smaller, the skins compared to the pulp inside will be more in favor of the skins because it's a smaller globe. If it's bigger, then the grape itself has more pulp or more juice inside. So if we have a higher skin content when we're making the wine, the wine will be very tannic because remember, we get our tannins from the skins itself. Now, because Petit Syrah is a tightly clustered uh, mass of berries, it is susceptible to mold, rot, and mildew. So that makes it a little bit more different or difficult to cultivate. Now, wines that are made from Petit Syrah tend to be uh, a little more perfumey. Uh, they have essences sometimes of, of blueberry, blackberry, and also um, some spiciness to them. And you can also get some chocolate stripes uh, in there as well. So Syrah and Petite Syrah share some common flavors, uh, but there are nuances of them that are different. Now, both of these grapes, because of their exceptional tannic structure and good acidity, are great seller selections. So that means if you buy a high-quality Syrah or a high-quality Petite Syrah, you can put them in your wine cellar and age them for decades, and they just get better and better. So both wines will be full-bodied, 
uh, with different profiles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Syrah first. And when we look at the Syrah wine, we see that it's uh, completely opaque. We cannot see through it. Uh, it's very dark purple in its color, almost bordering on black. And if we go ahead and give it a little swirl to try to liberate some of the aromas, in this particular wine, I'm getting a little bit of uh, black pepper that almost stings the nose, a little bit of plum in the background, and some spices coming out, maybe uh, on the order of cinnamon, and it kind of fades almost to dark chocolate. Let's go ahead and taste this wine. Across the palate, one thing you'll notice about a Syrah specifically one from the Northern Rhone, which this is, and we'll talk about the Vintner in just a second. When we think about a Northern Rhone Syrah, it has kind of shoulders of plum, like crushed plum, uh, with a little bit of a blackberry stripe. I, I taste some licorice in the background here with a little bit of cinnamon, and then an overarching flavor of black pepper. And that kind of dissolves into a nice tannic finish with full-bodied uh, type flavors. So this particular wine comes to us from Domaine d'Iron, and it comes from, comes from the town of Cornas. So Cornas is an appellation in the northern Rhone Valley of France, and this particular wine is a 2011 vintage. Now let's move on to Petite Syrah. Now Petite Syrah, once again, or Durif, as they call it in some areas, because Francois Durif made this particular grape, uh, grows all over the world. This particular Petite Syrah comes to us from actually Temecula, California, which is in the southern part of California, and it's from Southern Coast Winery, and it's their 2012 Petite Syrah. So let's go ahead and look at that. And the first thing we notice there is that this wine also is dark, almost black in color, uh, very dark purple, uh, probably even darker than the Syrah. Hopefully you can see that here on the video. If we swirl it to liberate some of the aromas, we notice that this particular Petite Syrah jumps out of the glass with flavors of, or aromas of candied cherries, uh, plums, a little bit of red raspberry. It smells very fruity, but in the background I can, um, I can sense some, some oakiness to the wine. So let's go ahead and taste it. So across the palate, I'm getting flavors of, of blackberry, uh, crushed blackberry, a little bit of dust, a little bit of earthiness to this particular wine, um, certainly some, some plum. Uh, the raspberry comes back again, just like the aromas were. And on the back of my palate, I'm noticing the influences of the oak. I'm tasting a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of caramel. Uh, it's quite pleasant. So whether it's Syrah or Petite Syrah, dark, deep, tannic wines like this love rich meats and more on the fatty side. So think ribeye as opposed to filet mignon. These type of wines pair beautifully with that. So I'm going to enjoy the Syrah and the Petite Syrah that's all the time we have for today, so please tune in next time, and soon you'll know wine in no time.